Hey guys, welcome to a guide on how to get the complete Zora armor set that allows you to do a variety of different things while swimming, which is really cool. For the Zora armor, which is like the chest plate, this is when you get to Zora's domain. When you first arrive here, it's something that you can get immediately because you're going to need it for completing their story. And you'll find um, Sidon's wife, which is located here. This is obviously where uh, Zora's domain is located in case you don't know where this is if you've not been here yet, right? So you're gonna get here and you're gonna find her just below the throne room. So behind the stairs from this angle, this area over here, she'll be roughly around over here and she'll be talking about the Zora armor and she'll give it to you as long as you can bring a special type of fish. And you can find this fish here at the Starter Island, the Flying uh, Great Sky Island over here. If you go to this little water pool over here, you can grab as many of those fish. You just need one, get a fish there, and then you come back here and you'll be able to get the Zora armor from her. After you get the Zora's armor, I believe you do have to do the water temple and finish the story. But after that, you can come speak to her here in front of the stairs by the throne. And she will talk about the greaves that you can get, which are the boots or the, the leggings, basically. And if you go up the throne here and to the left, there's some more people here and they'll give you another quest. And this one is going to be for the, for the like, the cap, the helmet piece of the Zora armor, right? So for the first one, we're going to go to this location over here. So you should have the shrine already. It's by Mipha's Court. And we're going to be going to the great skyfish and you should notice this really easily because if you run towards the east you'll see the fish is just like got a water pool or like waterfall coming out of it you just have to go up that waterfall go through it here the chest is located within the fish's like middle section towards the left so we're gonna go here just follow along with me it's very easy to get here you just go through boom and the chest is right there and this is how you get the Zora's helm nice and easy for the other one, for the Greaves, we're going to be going into the, uh, like, Whirlpool, which is basically right over here in the East Reservoir Lake. So in the middle of there, there's, like, a Whirlpool. You just got to find your way there somehow, some way, whichever way you want, and you got to go through that Whirlpool just like this. So once you go through, this will take you into, like, an underground cavern. You should recognize this as the same place that you did, like, the, the Water Temple before you got to the Water Temple, and what we're going to do is just go straight across here however you want. If you have a Tulin, you can go straight across like with wind like that nice and easily you're going to go left as you walk down here now there's going to be a giant structure in the middle and directly behind it there's going to be a hole in the ground so what we're going to do is just go around it over here and you'll see there is a hole in the ground over here go down you'll see there's a big cavern entrance over here so you're going to go through here and just run all the way to the back behind this little waterfall you'll see there's a little opening on the right hand side there is the other piece the zora's greaves so with the full armor set, the armor allows you to swim up waterfalls, the helmet allows you to do a spinning attack while swimming, and then the greaves allow you to swim faster. So the whole set in general is great for any water activities. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and thank you so much for watching.